So, so that's not what I was looking at. So if I was watching to see what you're doing back there, would you blowing your nose? I got you. Now, here's it. All right, shh, watch carefully. We have been taking these f of x's, yes? And we've wrapped them this way, yes? That's not symmetric. Let me try again. Like this, yes? And when we did this, we chopped them like this, and we did them dx, didn't we? Nice. And we also did some of these guys where we had some ooh, f of y, right? And we reflected them around the y. And that's terrible. Around kind of something like this, yes? And we cut them like this, that is dy, yes? Yes. And well, that's great. That's fabulous. No. <laughs> but we could, but no. We totally could, but no, we're not going to. Okay, is that cool what we did here? We're talking about here? It's pretty easy. <clears throat> so, Zappa, here's the problem. Sometimes, sometimes we will have a function, for instance, that's a function, let's say, of x. Do we have that picture down? Okay. You're not ready for it? You don't need to write it. I said if you want to write it, people seem like they were scratching it down. This is not new. This is what we've done before. Right? Right? Okay, now, here's where the trouble is going to lie today. Suppose you have this guy here, which is some function of x. But you want to wrap it around, wait for it, the y-axis. Oh, jeez. But, Mr. Green, we'd have to cut it like dy. That's true. You would have to. But here's the question, friend. If you were to cut it that way, that means you'd have to convert this thing to a function of y. Does that make sense? Yeah. But what if I can't? What if I can't convert that? Because, for instance, suppose you have y equals 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus y. Or plus x, I mean. Go ahead. I dare you to solve for x. Go ahead. I dare you. Go ahead. I'll wait. You can't do it, at least easily. You with me? This one maybe you could, but you'd have multiple pieces. It's just gross, yes? It's not doable. So there has to be another way, and there is, okay? And so what we're gonna talk about today is simply what happens when you run into this scenario. Okay. It's pretty straightforward. So again, here's the game. I'm going to try to wrap a function of x around a vertical line, yes? That means I need to be able to have dy, which means this has to be f of y, which means I'm screwed. Or, so, you could have a situation where you have a function of y, like so, yes? That you're trying to wrap around, around the x-axis, yes? Around a horizontal line. But in order to do that, you would need to be able to chop it dx. You with me? But that means I'd have to convert this baby to a function of x, which I might not be able to do. Does that make sense? So that is why we're going to talk about today's topic. Okay? Today's topic always can be done. Personally, I like discs and washers better than this method if I can do them. But if I can't, I need a backup plan. Okay? I need a backup plan. By the way, with discs and washers, well, they were kind of gross sometimes, weren't they? Because you had to like have this thing squared, right? And you'd do all that squaring before you could integrate. What a pain in the butt, yes? This one you typically don't have to. So that's nice. It's just a little messier to set up sometimes. So, you know, potato, potato, right? Now, here's the game. When you go home tonight and look in the drawer in the kitchen, you know where the kitchen is? I'm just teasing. Yeah. Here. Here's the kitchen. And look, Mr. Graham, look, my mommy or me, I maybe I have my on my own. Sam has his own measuring cups. Hey, look, they stack inside of each other, don't they? Huh? Isn't that cute? Now, what if you had, what if you were to have stacking cups that were like just barely bigger than one another and they were like no thickness? You'd need like an infinite number of them, wouldn't you? Right? But that's not how they are. We have like a big one and then a slightly smaller one and then a slightly smaller one and a slightly smaller one, yes? In essence, what we're going to be doing today is looking at these stacking cups, if you will. Okay? So the game is simply this. When we do them, I'm going to draw one that looks like... I'm going to do this one first. I'm going to do a nice, easy one. You're welcome. 
Here's our good, good friend x squared. And we're going to do it between here and x equals, let's say, 2 just for a good time. So I want this region in here. Okay. And I want to wrap that region. I'm going to wrap this region around over into there, yes? By the way, this is y equals 10 up here on top. Is that true? Uh, not y equals 10, Jay. I'm sorry. y equals 4, correct? Because that's when x squared is equal to 2. Uh, when 2x squared is equal to 4, right? That's what I mean? Yes? You see that? So I want to wrap it around there. Now, here's the game. What we're going to do is this, friends. We are going to do this. Instead of cutting it dy, because that's what I really would like to do, I would like to do that. Instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is the following. Watch carefully. We are going to do this new method. And in essence, what we're going to have is, we're going to have, check it out, cylinders, if you will, that are stacked inside of one another. Can you see that? Can you see those pictures I'm drawing? Can you see them? It's not very hard, right? Now, now Dad Gummit Trace, how high is it from here down to here, sir? How high is it from there down to there? You're amazing, sir. That's right. The height is the top function minus the bottom function. Well done, sir. That is the height. That will always be the height, won't it? Will it be the same height if you come out to here? It literally will be 4 minus x squared, yes? That is the height, correct? You can see it out here, can't you? You see that, baby? Bam! Here's my question. If I were to take this fella here and wrap it around like so, how would you find the area of this thing? The volume, not the, the volume of this deal. You take pi r squared, yes, on top, correct? Pi r squared times the height, yes? Right? Pi r squared times the height. Now you're like, well, that's, I guess that's cool, Mr. Green, but where would, our, where would our dx come into play at? Glad you asked. So in essence, what we're going to be doing is this. We're going to be doing 2 pi r. What is 2 pi r? That is the circumference here, yes? Around here like so? So if I take 2 pi r, okay, that's this right here, times height, what I'm actually finding is actually an area, isn't it? When I wrap it around, how much volume does the paper itself have? Right? It is, it's not zero, there's paper here. There's no paper. There's, okay, there's paper. So listen, how would I find the volume? It would be this length here, which is 2 pi r, yes, times the height, times the thickness. Nice. And so what's going to happen is this. You're going to get 2 pi r times the height, and then we're going to integrate it from A to B for some dx term. That's how it's going to work. In essence, each one of these will be a sheet of paper with tiny dx amount of thickness. Are you with me? Okay. So it's going to go like this. So what is up here on top of this guy? 2 pi. I can pull that out front. That's true. Here's my question to you. When I come out to here, from here... Out to here, what is the radius of this guy? Well, it would be 4 if you came all the way out to here. I mean, 2 if you came all the way out to there, yes? Yeah. If it was here somewhere, it would be like a half. Wait, isn't it just x, Mr. Groom? Is it my radius? Just how far out I come? Yeah. I feel like it is, yeah. So x times the height. And Trace said my height is always going to be 4 minus x squared. Nice job, Trace. Not a babe. And we're going to be integrating from 0 to 2. What? I'm proud of him. That's good work, man. What's the matter? Is that se was it sexist or something? Did I, did I just melt your little snowflakeishness? I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. I am just happy for the man. He nailed the question shut. I'm just showing my appreciation for his well-done performance. That's all I was saying. 
I feel like that's 8 minus 4, I think, times 2 pi. So my answer is, I think, check my math, 8 pi units cubed. That work for you? Scream has a question though. It's for you. Okay. So, do, you do you understand what I'm saying? So 2 pi r times the height times the thickness, which our thickness is dx. You see this? Okay. What's the matter, dear? Um, I'm kind of confused on that. Dear, I need a radius. Are you with me? So how far is it from here over to some any some random value? But it's is just that the same for no, no, no. And later on, you'll see that, dear. It's going to be a good ten. What was the answer? I feel like it was eight pi. Wait, Mr. Green has a question though. I feel like this is one that I could. This is x squared. Yes. I feel like I could solve that for y and get that the square root of y is equal to x. Is that true? I feel like that's true, yes? Right? So then I feel like I could do what I did last week and do pi times the radius. And what is the radius? Well, how far is it from here out to here? It's the square root of y, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, that's the square root of y, isn't it? Yes? So the square root of y squared dy and go from 0 to 4. Guess what I should get for an answer, friends? It better be the same. Or we're screwed. Okay? And of course it's y squared over 2 times pi, 0 to 4, 16 divided by 2 is 8 pi. Nice! Again, it always will, can be, it always works to do the cylindrical shells method, the thing we just learned today, or we're learning today. I think it's easier to do discs and washers personally most of the time, setting them up wise. I think the other is easier to integrate. I think nobody is going to argue that with you, but setting them up, I think disk and washers are easier if you can get it in terms of a function of y or x that you need. But you can't always do that. Okay? So you can't always do it. But if you could, it would work either way, yes? All right, this question is for Quinlan. Quinlan, dear, I'm going to draw this picture over here. Here's x squared. Here's x equals 2. We already know that. Here's y equals 4. Same picture. Okay? Here's my question. This is y equals x squared. Here's my question. How much area, how much volume would I get if I rotated this region around the y-axis? Yes, you do know. That's not true. You totes do know. Okay, did you cut your hair? Is it different? Nice. How would you do it? How would you find it? Well, let's do the shell method, by God. Now, here's my question. Allow me to draw in a few simple cylinders. Are you with me here? What is the height of this cylinder right here? How high is that? It's just x squared, right? That's the y value. Last time we were doing this amount, so Trey said it was 4 minus x squared, yes? This piece here is just x squared, correct? How far is it from here over to there? It's x again, isn't it? It's x. That's the radius. So my answer would be 2 pi x times x squared. This is radius times height. Yes? dx from, again, 0 to 2. So that's 2 pi it's x cubed dx. That's x to the 4 over 4 from 0 to 2. 16 divided by 2 is 4, times 2 is 2 pi. No, 8 pi, isn't it? 8 pi. 8 pi? Is that what you got? 8 pi? Is it 8 pi? Is it 8 pi? Is it? I think so. Here's a question Mr. Groom has. What's your question there, Lohana? Why, why was the first one 4 minus x squared? Because, dear, dude, we wanted to know how much is above it. So it was from 4 down to x squared. That was the height. Uh -huh. But this time it's from x squared down to 0. So x squared minus 0. Uh -huh. Yeah? Let me graph this just for a good time and see what you think, people. Wait, x equals 2. 
One moment, please. One moment, please. Mr. Graham, how is it possible they have the same? That's what I'm looking at. I'm trying to convince myself that I'm right. It feels dirty. It does feel dirty to me, too. It just does. So let's look at that for a minute. Does that look right? Um, hmm, interesting. I don't know. Hmm. Now, let's go back and look at it. Let's go back and look at it as if if we were doing it with cylindrical shells. If I, or not shells, with uh, the disc and washer method. If I was doing the disc and washer method, how would you find this region in here? You'd have an outer radius, yes, outer radius. And of course, you'd have an inner radius, which we said was the square root of y, yes? This is x equals 2. This is x equals square root of y, right? So it'd be pi, right? And then it would be outer radius, so 2 squared dy from 0 to 4 minus pi. And then this would be square root of y squared dy. 0 to 4. Wait, Mr. Graham, this right here is 4, right? So 4y times pi, of course. I'm just going to put pi on the whole thing. And then minus, this was going to be, what did we say that was? y squared over 2, is that right? Yeah? And then from 0 to 4. We already know this one here was uh, 8. This one here is going to be 16. Was I right? Yeah, baby. Yeah. Now check this out. You know how I was going to check myself a minute ago? You know how I was going to... Sophia, you're supposed to say, no, Mr. Graham, tell me. Okay, I was going to, yeah. I'm going to anyways, regardless of what you thought, but I was just going to do it anyways. But here. So I feel like I just made myself a cylinder that goes all the way out to here, yes? All right? That's if I rotate the whole thing around there, yes? I have a radius of two and a height of 4. How would you find that? It would be pi times the radius squared times the height. Well, Mr. Grimm, isn't that 16 pi? Why, it is 16 pi. And if you subtract the part on the inside, which was 8 pi, you probably ought to get the part on the outside, which must also be 8 pi. Interesting. What did we just do right here? This is what I just did. You see that? That's what I just did as if I had made the entire piece of it, yes? And what I subtracted out was what I did the first time. And what you have left, obviously, is what you have left. Isn't that nice? Let's do another. People do not believe me. Corey, it hurts my feelings, but it's okay. Try to get over it. No, I don't want to do x squared. x squared is boring. x cubed? Ooh. Minus 2x squared. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, let's do that. Sure, minus one. No, let's just leave it like that. Yeah, let's do that guy. So let's take this region here. I'll make it bigger so we can see it more better-ish. Let's take that region right there from zero to two. Let's wrap it around the y-axis, yes? Let's do this thing. So x cubed minus two x squared. So y equals x cubed minus two x squared. It looks like this, give or take. Yes, that's the region I'm interested in. Now, if I wrap it around the y-axis, I'm going to get the same picture on this side, of course, yes, but looking like this, right? If I was to reflect it around there, yes? If I normally, I would cut this baby dy, yes? That's what I would like to do. Go ahead, I dare you, I'll wait. Solve for x. You cannot do this, yes? So even if I wanted to do discs and washers, uh, it's not going to work, is it? You see that? And I can't do that. So my next thought is, well, you know what I should probably do then? I should probably just use the shell method that we're talking about today. The method of cylindrical shells. Yes, and if William shows up in a few minutes, please tell him that today's... I don't really care if you tell him or not. But you can tell him that today's lesson was on the method of cylindrical shells. Okay. Now here's the game. Here's a question for Mr. Here's a question Mr. Graham wants to know. Here is my first shell. It's just a random shell that I drew. Yes, you see it? Look at my shell. Okay. What is the height of my shell right here? What is the height of that shell? 
the height of it. It's not x cubed minus 2x squared. I feel like it's not. Because I feel like, for instance, at 1, at 1, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. I don't think I have a negative 1 height. Are you with me? Because I'm, I'm talking about just height here, yes? So I think of the right idea, but I need a top function. What is the top function across here? So it's 0 minus this function, yes? The height is a top function minus the bottom function, yes? Like on the last one we had, it was a function minus 0. So technically we did it minus, but it's still there, yes? This one, I'm going to need to know that. If you forget on this one, you will get the right answer, but it will be negative. And you should be ashamed of yourself if you get a negative in this case, okay? Okay, but that's fine. So here's my height. My height is going to be 0 minus x cubed minus 2x squared. This is my height, which of course looks better if you write it 2x squared minus x cubed, unless Levi Norton's in the room, in which case you'll have a conniption fit. He'll literally stroke out if you write it this way, okay? Which is why I always did it, just to piss him off. Okay, there's his height. Okay? Now, how far over did I come from there over to here? X, that's right. So literally, Mr. Groom, you're saying I'm just going to integrate 2 pi times x times the height dx and from 0 to 2 because that's where we are on the x-axis. That's literally what I'm saying to you. So as one can see, this is way easier to integrate as promised, by the way. It, oh, thank you. So, 8 minus 32 fifths times 2 pi. So confused on where the, um, x 40 pi. over 5, so 8 over 5 times 2 pi. I'm not ignoring you, I'll get you. Is, I don't know, whatever. Uh, it's 9, 10 ish. What's up? What was your question? Like, um, where the x comes from on the outside of the parentheses when it's still. That's a radius, sir. Let's go back and look at the picture. How far over is that? There's my cylinder. Do you see my cylinder right there? Do you see it? So the radius is just x. When you're wrapped around just the axes, it'll always be x or y. When you're wrapped around an axis. Then I'm going to have to do something. My yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to. One moment, please. Do you get it? Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? Did it not work? What did you get for an answer? Is it, did you get 16 pi over 5? Is that right? Yeah. Nice. It's about 10 point something, isn't it? What is wrong with you? I think hanging out with him has been bad for you because like, you're getting chippy with me. You didn't used to be like that to me. It's hurtful. Are you chippy? No. You've been mellowed out now. You're like... Like you're, you've changed too. You had a difference in each other. This is exciting, but you're getting chippy. Yes, you are. It's okay though. I'll get over it. What? It's okay. I don't care. You're not hurting my feelers. I'm just saying. I've just noticed you've been a little chippy lately. It's okay. It's okay. okay. <laughs> Mr. Groom said I was being mean. Mr. Groom still likes you. You're still a nice kid. You're swell. You're swell. Uh, I'm interested in. Sure, I like that guy. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and write y equals 0 there, sure. No, well, yeah, that's fine. Sure, I guess. Well, actually, no, let's do it. y equals 3. Wait for it. And, oh, this is going to be hot. Um, I feel like I'm going to wrap it around x equals 2. So I'm going to wrap this crap here around this feller over here. Yes. Oh, it's going to be hot. Let me draw this picture. So it's like this, and like this, and like this, and like this, and like so. And I want to get one of these jobs going on like this, yes? That's what I'd like to have, right? Nice. Okay. Clearly there's going to be a hole in the middle of this thing, is there not? There is. There totally is. Of course there is, Mr. Green. 
So if you were doing this to the old disc and washer routine, you'd have to have an outside and an inside radius, correct? But not with the shell method. No, sir. Mm-mm. No, sir. So this is how it's going to get done. We are going to do the following. How far is it from here out to some value here? I feel like this is x right here. I feel like that's x, yes? From the x-axis over here is x. How far is it from here over to there, though? 2 minus x. 2 minus x. Do you see it? Now, Mr. Groom. Oh, yeah, here it is. Hang on. It's, it's, it's uh, x squared minus 2, isn't it? Oh, it's 3x squared minus 2. And this is y equals... What was that, y equals 3? And this is x equals 2? Cool, you're welcome. Sure, sure. And so, in essence, what I have is that's my radius from there to there. That's 2 minus x. Well, you ask me, dear. So, listen, listen, dear. If I was at x equals 1 right here, that's x equals, that's 1 from here to here, yes? If that's the case. Then how far is it from here, the line, back over to here? It's 2 minus 1, yes? It's 2 minus whatever that x value is. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but what if it was x equals negative, negative 1, Mr. Green? What if it was x equals negative 1? Well, what if it was, dear? Then how far would it be from 2 over to negative 1? 2 minus a minus 1 or? 3. 3. I didn't mean to, but yeah. <laughs> it kind of like, it's 3. It's 3. Yes? So it's 2 minus a minus 1. Would it be different if our original function was on this side of the x equals 2 line? I would minus it the other way around, wouldn't I? Because the x would be all the way over to here now. Are you with me? And I'd go x minus 2 would be the distance. But it's not. We're on the other side of it. So here's the deal. You always want a positive radius. Okay. Look at it, dear. What's the matter with you? What's the matter today, dear? Listen, hey, right here. Let's just graph x equals 1. Let's just do that for fun. Okay? Dear, stop, 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 stop. Dear, how far is it from here to here? Well, it's 1. But why is it 1? Because x equals 1 is 1 from here to here, yes? Yeah. From here over to the line is... Wherever the line went to 2, that's a distance of 2, yes? So how far is it from here to here? It's 2 minus how far over I came, yes? That's my radius. It's my radius, girl. Okay, you'll get there, I promise. We'll get you there. Just bear with me a moment. So then it's 2 pi. My radius is 2 minus x this time. What is wrong with this pen? It's like I have one of those pens that's bleeding everywhere. You know what I mean? One of those pens that when you pick it out of your pocket, it just starts leaking everywhere. You're like, stop running everywhere. That's my radius. Now, what's my height? Look at any region across here. What is this height right in here? Well, this is y equals 3, yes? Yes? And this is y equals 3x minus 2. So my height is 3 minus 3x squared minus 2. This is my height. And again, we're going from where to where? We're going from x equals 0 to where would we go to? x equals 0 to where do you think? 0 obviously, right? Or x, not 0 I mean. Not 0. What are we doing? We're, we want to do this whole region, Mr. Groom, this whole purple region that's overlapping there. So we should go from where? Negative 1.29 <laughs> Positive 1.29. Are you with me? Do you see it? I'm only interested in this region from here to here. Because when we reflect it across, it's just this purple region that we're rotating around over to here. So negative 1.29 to positive 1.29. What is wrong with this pen? All right, I'm going to do it up here. So it's 2 pi. Let's foil this crap out, shall we? So it's going to be negative 3x, negative 3x squared, and then plus 5. Is that true? So 
So if you FOIL that out, you're going to get 6x squared plus 10. I don't think so, because it's 3. Where? I didn't FOIL it, did I? I just distribute this negative, that becomes negative, that becomes positive 4, or positive 2, I mean. 3 plus 2 is 5. Oh. I'm not times him. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Plus 3x cubed minus 5x dx. Did I mess something up now? Probably. All right. So that's negative 3x, no, negative 2x cubed. Don't listen to what I say, Cora. Jeez, why are you so mad? Mr. Gumi, you're a bad teacher. I'm tired of it. I've put up with it all year long. I've been nice. I'm not dealing with it anymore. Why did you write it like that if you're actually integrating? I integrated. I integrated! It was a long weekend. Jeez, oh dear. Get off my back. Jeez. I feel like that's the right answer, yes. So, Mr. Green, are you saying that over here on the Desmos, if I were to type in, what was my answer? I said it was negative 2x squared cubed. Is that right? Yeah. And then what did I say? Plus 10x. Oh, crap. But not x, you idiot. A. And then what? Plus 10x? Yeah. Then? Plus 3x. To the foe. And then what? Minus 5a squared divided by 2. Potato, potato, vodka. 1.291. 6.5. Can you? That's how you make it. Are you adding pi to Oh, wait, Mr. Groom. Did you forget pi? I'm just going to times it by pi when I'm done. 6.52. Do you see that? Negative 10.6, 6.5, plus 10.6. It's 10.7. 6.5 plus 10.7 will be 17.2, correct? I think. So it would be something like 17.2 times 2 pi, which... 2 pi, which would be something along the lines of 34.4 pi, which is somewhere around 100-ish. Don't tell me I don't care. You can use a calculator better than I can. Okay? Okay. Don't tell me. I don't want to know, Bryce. I don't want to know, Bryce. I want to know. So what do you tell me? I need to calculate it. Good. <laughs> Good. Hey. I'll just never know the answer. <laughs> Then don't be a drunk. There, I was hard. I fixed it. There, I fixed it. Hey, there, I fixed it. Don't be an alcoholic. That was hard. <laughs> it's too late. There you go. Jiminy Christmas. Here, let's do this one. Here is x equals 1. Cool. You know, there's other ways around life's problems. You know, there's other ways. I know, we all have our issues in life. I'm an alcoholic at age 14. Well, that's, <laughs> that's rough. That's rough. Now let's tell you. I haven't had a drink since 8 o'clock this morning, Mr. Groom. Actually. Since last period. Okay, look. Here's this region. Do you see the region in there? Do you see the region where they intersect? Yeah. That's cute. There's x equals 1. I would like to wrap this region here around this fella over to here, yes? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm your huckleberry. What movie is that from? What? I'm your huckleberry. I heard Elmo too. It's the Elmo movie, of course. Yeah. I'm drunk. <laughs> what about your Elmo? I'm drunk. <laughs> the life of your Elmo.
elbow. All right, here we go. Got her? Good. Sweet. Now, all right, so we found the pertinent endpoints here. The points of intersection are at 4.236 and 8.221. You see that? Nice. Let's do it. All right, bro. All right, so the picture looks, give or take, something like this. Whatever. It looks something like this, give or take, whatever. And we're going to, of course, see the same picture over here when I'm all done, yes? Okay, so here's my question. What is the radius from here out to some particular value of x over here somewhere? What would that value be? I don't know either, but watch, I'll draw a picture. From here to here is x. So how far is it from here at 1 over to here? I feel like it's just x minus 1, Mr. Groom. And you're right. So 2 pi, x minus 1 is my radius, radius. What is my height on this problem? Is that it? What is it? X minus 6 squared. Nice. Oh, that's hot, yeah. That's right. Exactly right. From where to where? 4.236 to 8.221. Oh, something like that. This is where this one's going to get a little messy this time. Because before we do anything else, we need, we need to distribute... But before I can distribute, I'm going to have to foil that mass out first. And that's going to be minus an x squared. It's going to be minus 12x, so plus 12x. It's going to be plus 36, so minus 36. So this is where it gets a little messy. It's going to be x sine x. Boy, I don't want to do that. That's going to require me to use integration by parts, huh? Plus 4x minus x cubed plus 12x squared minus 36x <sighs> minus sine x minus 4 plus x squared minus 12x plus 36. Oh, that's cool. Sure, 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 sure. And so let's combine some like terms, shall we? So this one I can't do anything with. Uh, how many x's do I have? I got 4x here, and I got a 12x here, negative 12x. And I got 36. So is that uh, negative, negative, negative 44x, I think? Is that right? Yep, and then x squared, I have, I think, 13 x squared. Is that true? And then I have a minus an x cubicled. And then I've got a sine x. These are in no particular order, I guess. Just whatever I'm seeing, I'm writing them down. And then plus 32, is that what you see? Okay. So, if it's Mr. Groom, I'm going to skip this one for right now, okay? This is going to be 22x squared, is that right? If you integrate that, it's going to be 13 thirds x cubed, x to the 4 over 4. Hey, where did negative sine come from? Who is he the derivative of? Positive cosine, well done, well done, plus 32x. I'm going to go do the sign one on a different page somewhere. Okay? Well, I mean on a different page, just somewhere else. Okay? Because he's the only part of that problem that's going to confuse me a little bit maybe, right? If I see x sine x, I'm going to use integration by parts. Who should be who on this problem? X should probably be u, yes? So if it is x sine x, let u equal x, and dv is dv is sine x dx. Ah. 
And then so du is dx and v is equal to uh, negative cosine of x, isn't it? That's right, I think that's right, it feels good to me. So then it's going to be negative x cosine x minus the integral of v du, so it's going to end up being positive cosine x dx, right? So it's going to be minus x cosine x and then this came from sine. Is that true? Yeah. Nice. You buy that? Nice. I might even give you 10 cents for that one. Oh. Yeah. So up here somewhere we left off. So it's negative x cosine x plus sine x. Is that true? Okay. Oops. Now read that sucker to me. I'm going to put it into Desmos, okay? So. So 2 pi parentheses. What's the first part? Negative a cosine a. Negative a cosine of a, then what? Sine of a. Oh, dang it. And then plus sine a? Yep. And then? Minus 22a squared plus, is it? Is it plus or minus? Minus. minus. All right. Wait, they say minus. We'll look at it in a second. What else? Oh, it is. Plus 13a cubed over 3. Nope. There you go. Then what? Minus x, I mean minus a to the fourth of the four. <gasps> oh no! Wait, stop, stop, no! Oh no! Plus cosine of a? Plus cosine of a? Plus 32 times a. That all? Yep. And then what? What do I have? What, 8.22? 285.2? The 6.8 round, so. Nine. Thank you. Thank you. And then the other one was 4.236. Negative 61.16. You're welcome, sure. So what were they, dear, read them to me again, what were they? What was the first one? 285.68 min uh, so minus and minus a plus 61.16 346.84 that's my volume nice good question comment concern nice okay so what I want you to do tonight on page it's hard to get used to doing it this way but whatever whatever Whatever. Just here to help. That's what I do. I'm a, I'm a people person. That's what I do. Volumes of revolution. Use the washer disk method. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, that's the shell method. Sure. Sure. Shells. 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 380. Described by this revolved around the X. Nope. Nope. Where's the dang shell method? Come on. Come on. Nope. Where are they? This is terrible. All right, well, I'll just make one up. I'll make some of them up. We have time, don't we? I'm not going to run out of time, am I? Am I good? Am I good? Uh, I got lots of time. Here we go. Are they really? That's stupid. That's dumb. Dude, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Why did they say in your name? Oh, no. That's creepy. No. No, no, no.
not. And your green chip is now. So you're four. You know, on 389, there's all things for Are there? No. Yeah, 389. What? Ooh, I'm not being 389 and Oh, there they are. I was on the wrong section. Order that stupid. Thank you so much. Let's do this. There we go. There's nice, easy ones. Let's do, yeah, 389, 7 to 12. Let's just do that. 389, 7 through 12. Let's do that. Wes, less work for me. Thank you. You mean easy ones? These are easy ones. The books are easier than mine. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Okay. Because mine always like, that seems easy. Oh, it's not. <laughs> yeah. There. What? You have to call your boss? Or something? But